seems legit. Hi legitimates and welcome back. Today, we're not actually doing a sewing thing even though I'm in the sewing room. Today, we are going to laser a flask. Uh, so this is a coated flask. Um, you can also do the stainless steel variety, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. This only took ten and a half minutes in the laser once I'd lined it up. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so I've turned the machine on. It's currently centering itself. Um, and then I'm going to take this and place it in. Now I've taken out my honeycomb mainly because I don't want to accidentally scratch the black coating on this. Um, and then we're going to frame the area because I have no idea where it's placed. I always use absolute co coordinates. They make me happy. Um, so let's do that again. Nope, too much one side. It's all just a bit of a placing game. Um, and the other thing is, is the height difference between here. Obviously this is a little bit curved as you can see. So you kind of want to go, see how high it is there, and then on the edge, and then kind of drop this down to a, an in the middle kind of medium. So at the top it's a little bit high, uh, lower than it should be, but if you have it at the normal length the edges won't burn properly. So I'm just going to do that one more time and then I'm going to get my little positioning thing and I just kind of want to make sure I've got the middle in the middle. So that's the middle there. I want to make sure it's perfectly straight and actually in the middle. Frame it one more time, just to make me feel better. Okay, good. Now so my settings are 100% power and 70 millimeters per second. And this took about 10 and a half minutes in total. So it's all done now. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't look amazing. So what we need to do is grab some rubbing alcohol. I just got this from the local supermarket. Put some on a cloth, like a rag cloth, and then we're just going to wipe it like that, and look how much better that looks now. Just got to give it a good wipe over. Now obviously the wider you make the design, the less the edge parts will work, but that still looks pretty freaking amazing, in my opinion. Uh, but that, yeah, and that's it really. Rubbing alcohol is your friend, old cloths, and keep to the settings that I've suggested for these ones. Now that's because I've removed the coating. If you're going to do a, a silver one, so a stainless steel one, you want to do 100% power, but you only want to move 3 millimeters a second. So this same design that took me 10 and a half minutes will probably take about an hour if you're going slower. But still very, very cool. Alright guys, I'll see you later.